you guys. It is Thursday. What's the date? April 28th. And I'm starting a new vlog today. I don't know if this is going to be one day or maybe a couple days, but it's just going to be like day of my lifestyle, what I'm actually doing, things like that. So I just got up around like six and then I made some coffee. I sat around and did some emails, responded to my TikTok comments, engagement, like business admin stuff. I always do that like first thing in the morning just so I can get it over with and like go about my day without having to think about that. What else did I do? I took the dogs to the park and now I'm just getting ready. My outfit today is very casual. I'm just wearing like a sweatshirt. It's my breadwinning housewife sweater. It's from Kinsey Elizabeth if you follow her on Instagram or YouTube or um, I think Kinsey the Texan on TikTok. She has this breadwinning housewife line and I'm obsessed with it and I've never related with anything more. But I'll give you a full outfit look in just a minute. Or actually, if you just follow me on TikTok, I always post my outfits on there, so just go there. I'm just getting ready and I'm so excited that I got finally got this headband. I've been seeing it everywhere and Versed Skin sent me a, a PR package and this was in there. And so now I know where everyone got it from. So if you want one of these and you've been seeing it all over the internet, it's from Versed. I'll put their website in the description. So I'm just going to do a really light makeup look today. I haven't updated it that much, but honestly today is going to be a little bit lighter than normal. So I'll just kind of walk you through what I've been doing because I really like it for spring and summer. First, I use my Holy Grail L to MD. It's tinted and I already put it on, but it, it's just SPF, but it still has a little bit of tint. So it's not like full coverage. It's not even medium coverage, honestly. It just adds a tiny bit of color and I really like having that on my skin. Next, I go in with the Hollywood Flawless Filter and the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. It's like a tinted moisturizer, and I swear this is like the best combination for spring and summer to get like really dewy skin. This is it. I just put this on like the high points of my face because I don't like, like, I don't love how it feels. Honestly, it's kind of like sticky if you put too much on, so I just do a little bit. Then you go in with a damp beauty blender. It has to be damp. This is a microfiber one that my sister got me for my birthday. I think it's from Target. And this is the best one that I've ever had. Something about the microfiber makes it like squishier and a little bit softer. And it doesn't soak up like any of my makeup. I've had the same one since November. I probably need a new one, don't I? That's gross. Anyway, I just go in and blend. Next, I just put a little bit of this Bare Minerals Tinted Moisturizer like on my cheeks and my forehead and just make sure that I'm looking nice and smooth. This will come out. Next, I go in with Milk Makeup. It's a matte bronzer stick. This is the shade Baked. And I learned on TikTok that it's better if you use a brush and you put the brush on the product versus putting the product straight on your face. And I've been putting the product straight on my face and then I started using the brush instead and I really do think that it makes a difference because when I use the brush instead of putting it on my just directly on my face, it seems to go on like a little bit more seamless. Sometimes when I rub this on my face and then have to rub it in, I feel like it moves my foundation around a little bit and obviously that's not what we want so i just do my cheekbones and my jawline and around my hairline where i would naturally get tan in the summer i love the color of this bronzer i think it is so nice and it looks really natural on my skin i don't actually know how many shades they have um or if they have like a decent shade range but i just happened to get a good one for my skin i guess i would like to take a moment of silence for my neck like my tanner is out of control like the fact that i'm just going out in public like this on meetings like it, it that is so embarrassing um but i didn't have time to tan this weekend and i keep forgetting to exfoliate it off and every single night when i do my skincare when i like put it on my neck it just like beads up and starts coming off even more so that's embarrassing Okay, next I just go in with like a cream blush. This is Tower 28 in the shade Beach Please Magic Hour. I love this stuff. I am like fully sold on cream blush. I will probably, 
I mean, never say never, but like, I don't think I'll go back to a powder blush unless there's like a magical product because this stuff is like so good. I'm obsessed with it. I do the same thing. I go with the same brush that I use for my bronzer and I just put this in the spots where I would get sunburned. Again, this is like super casual. This is not a like formal, I'm not going to dinner like this. Um, this is just like day to day, super casual. I just have to work today. So like no biggie, people only see my face anyway. I just realized that I forgot to put concealer on. I've been using the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. This is one of their like little mini ones. I always buy the small ones because it takes me quite a while to go through concealer because I don't really wear that much. I pretty much only do it in this little spot beneath my eye. Like I don't, I don't really like sculpt with it or put it anywhere on my face. Mostly because I'm lazy. Um, so just gonna blend that in. Also, a reason that I don't use concealer very much is because even if it is creaseless. It will crease. Watch. Like, I'll show you later on today. Maybe if it does it. Actually, I didn't put very much over here. But, like, over here where you have, like, crow's feet and, like, smile lines. Like, right here. It will, without a doubt, crease. And there's pretty much nothing I can do about it. So, if you have any recommendations, um, let me know. Also, I've even been thinking about, like, I have an appointment in June to get lip filler, actually. Do not come for me. I am getting it done whether anyone likes it or not. But I've, I've literally wanted it for like, like since college. Since Kylie Jenner started plumping her lips, I have wanted to get plump lips. And I'm not gonna go overboard, but you know, just a little, just a little boop boop. That's all. Um, anyway, I have been thinking about getting some filler or just like talking to someone about how to keep these lines from showing up so bad because it's just like an insecurity of mine. I know it's from smiling and squinting and I know it's not a bad thing to have wrinkles. Um, I would just rather not. So I'm gonna see if there's anything they can do about it. Next I'm just gonna go in with my Brow Wiz. This is the Anastasia um, Shade Soft Brown. And I just fill in my eyebrows like very lightly. And then I just brush them up. I don't do anything crazy on my brows on normal days, but that's because I tint them. I did a video recently about tinting my eyebrows and my eyelashes actually, so if you have any interest in that or wanna know how I do it, go back and watch that video. Where are you? Last thing from the brows is the NYX Brow Glue. Honestly, I'm not obsessed with this product, but like it does the trick. It's, it doesn't bother me. It's just a little bit sticky. At least that's how I feel. And anyway, I need another product, but I don't really like buying products until my other ones are empty. And unfortunately, this one looks like it's gonna last for about two years. So I might have this for a while. But I just brush up my brows and kind of to the side. I learned this on TikTok too. So many people have been like brushing their brows straight up. And basically, the person was saying that it lifts your face really nicely if you brush them, like, up but outwards instead of just, like, that boy brow spiky look. And I really agree. So there's my brows. They, I think they really show my face well once they're finished. Next, I go on with my lashes. I get so many questions about my lashes. Yes, these are natural. Um, no, they... I was not born with these. Um, I use Grande Lash Serum, and I swear it makes all the difference. I started using it in December, and by February, my lashes were insanely long. Like, so long that, like, people think that I have eyelash extensions very frequently. And it also doesn't take much mascara anymore, which I really appreciate. So, I just, I don't even curl them anymore. I feel like it breaks them off, so I don't do that. I sometimes will use, like, a primer, but not very often. Usually I just throw on a little bit of mascara. All right, there's my eyelashes. I forgot to say that I'm using the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational 
sky high this is like i feel like this is like semi-viral because so many people use it and it's just a really good mascara all right so basically my face is done i just need to do my lips and something that i've been doing for a while is the whole like use your brow pencil as your lip liner hack and i even keep buying lip liners that are similar shades and i just can't find one that i like as much as my brow liner so i'm just gonna keep doing it because it keeps working so you basically take this and you line under and over and then you fill in the middle with like a blush type color that's like really similar to your blush and then add some gloss and you're done For lipstick, I'm using the Maybelline Daringly Nude. It's shade 655. This is so old. I don't even know if they make this anymore. And then I'm using the Merit um, Tinted Lip Oil. The shade is Maraki, Maraki, Maraketch. Don't know. I'll link all this stuff below so you can like go buy it if you want it. But um, I don't know how to pronounce this. Look how nice and natural that color is. I feel like it really like complements my skin tone and it also looks really good in TikToks, which, you know, it's a thing. At the end, I can't help myself and I have to go in with a little bit of extra bronzer. This is the Too Faced Chocolate. Wow, it's so old, it doesn't even have anything on the back. Like literally, this thing is ancient. I don't even think they have this packaging anymore, but it's like the chocolate brown bronzer. Um, so I just go in and add a little bit more because I like to be extra bronzed, especially whenever my tan is worn off and I'm looking goofy. And then I just go in with a little bit more blush, but I like to use my finger and just dab it in the places where I want to look like I got a little bit extra sun-kissed, like on my nose. Like that's where I get sunburned, so I feel like it makes it look super summery. And then I just do right here under my eyes like on the very top of my cheekbone, kind of like, you know, when you've been boating and you go home for the day and you have like that cute little pink cheek situation. That's what I'm trying to make happen, but just not, not real because you know, gotta protect the skin. So anyway, that is the final look. I'm just going in with a little, see, I'm trying to get those creases because they already creased. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they're there. Drives me nuts. Okay, we're done with makeup. That took way longer than I was expecting. Um, now for hair. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's see. Let's assess the situation. Okay, honestly, like, not bad. I think I do want to wear it down today. Because I just washed it yesterday. Okay, I, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little bit of dry shampoo. This is my favorite. It's the Batiste Dry Shampoo Bear. I feel like it's not as heavy as so many other shampoos and I also like that it doesn't have a super heavy scent because I hate the smell of old dry shampoo in your hair. You know when it like mixes with your your oil, like your natural oil and then like your hair oil and then the dry shampoo and then whatever other smells that you have in your life. Not for me. This is my favorite hair tool. It is the Hot Tools, like detachable brush. It's like a hot brush. Like it, it's, honestly, it's kind of like a Dyson dupe. Not that I have a Dyson, so I can't actually compare them, but it gives you a really nice blowout look and like the same style as all the girls who use like the Velcro rollers and stuff, but this is way faster. My one tip for using this is make sure you read the manual because I used to work for a hair tool brand and people wouldn't read the manual and they would burn their hair off. Um, so this says if you have like fine hair to use the low setting. So that's what I use. I don't use high because I don't want to burn my hair. So hot tip. cute like it just refreshes your blowout so nicely and makes your hair like fluffy and gives it volume 
I love it. Now that I have finally gotten ready for the day and it took way longer than I was expecting, I need to make my bed because I haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Off of the day I've got on my Adidas Ultra Boost my Amazon socks that are Aritzia dupes and my little Amazon tennis skirt and then like I said earlier this is like a really oversized sweatshirt I kind of tried to tuck it I'm not obsessed with how it looks but doing my best I'm gonna go sit down and start my nine to five I have honestly so much to do today I can't even wrap my head around it but that's where I'll be and then I'll catch up with you guys in like a few hours probably lunchtime and I'm just taking a little a little break to eat some gnocchi soup um if you ever work so long that your eyes feel like they're kind of going cross-eyed because that's like where I'm at right now but I wanted to show you this adorable little package that I got sent from Athena Club like it is precious it says packaged with self-care um they sent over these like Face wipes with vitamin B3 and E. I'm really glad they sent these because I never use face wipes, but I think it's really nice to have like just in case of emergencies, like just to use one every once in a while, just quickly if you want to like get the the grime off your face, you know. Then they sent over cloud shave cream with aloe and oat extract. Ooh, that's nice. I bet that feels so good. I don't really use anything right now except for just soap, so I'm sure this will be a step above. Look at this packaging. This is so precious. Okay, hold on. Let's pull it out. <gasps> Are you kidding? This is so cute. Wow. Oh, okay, so it's a pink handle, two cartridges, and magnetic. Oh, this is a magnetic hook. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cute. It has like sticky on the back. You put it on your shower and then it just like sticks to the magnet. This is so cute. Wow, thank you so much, Athena Club. This is just like the cutest little thing. Obviously, I'm not shaving my legs right now, so I'm gonna eat my lunch. I'm gonna go sit down and work some more and eat this, but I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. I have some more packages coming, and one in particular, this shirt from Free People that I literally cannot wait to try on because I know it's gonna be cute and I'm gonna pair it with these cute little pants that I just got and I've been thinking about this outfit all day long so we'll catch up when it gets delivered um so last time I talked to you I definitely said that I was gonna show you my new outfit um and now it's eight o'clock um I did get the shirt in and the outfit is very cute I tried it on but I forgot to show you and the sun went down so it was just like really dark so I will show you tomorrow because I think I'm going to wear it and post some TikToks in it because it's just that cute. Um, but honestly, the, this week I have worked so late every single day. I haven't had like a moment to myself. I have, have been getting up at 6 a.m. doing like influencer, content creator stuff. And then going straight into my 9 to 5. And I've had a very crazy week in my 9 to 5. And I'm still not caught up. I like cannot catch up this week for some reason. And then I finish that like around 8 o'clock. I've been finishing work at like 8 every single day. And then I like check all my notifications and stuff. And then it's time for bed. I really don't want to be eating out and like eating bad. But honestly, me and Max are just so emotionally, physically, 
spiritually, mentally, psychologically exhausted that we are just going to go get some burgers <laughs> because sometimes you just got to get the burger, you know? And today is one of those days. I just got to get the burger. If you don't eat, oh no, it's going to fall down. If you don't eat the fries in the car on the way Woo! back. Ah! You do that on purpose. If you don't eat the fries in the car on the way back from getting fast food, you're doing it wrong. That burger was truly life-changing, um, but I think now, since it's getting late, I am just going to spend some time with myself. I'm going to take an Epsom salt bath, zen out a little bit, put my phone away, put my camera away, read a book, brush my hair, just like take care of myself. Um, it's yellow in here because we have red lights. They look yellow on camera, but they're actually red. Um, I think there's like a health benefit. I don't know. I just like the vibe, so... Highly recommend. It like really makes your bedroom like super cozy and vibey and like dark. I don't know why I love it. But anyway, I am really excited to just like take care of myself for an hour before I go to bed and disconnect from like technology because I swear my eyes are like, I think I'm going cross-eyed. I've been staring at screens so much the past week and I don't think I've had a single moment where I didn't feel stressed. And so I'm excited to just feel calm. <laughs> but I will catch up with you guys in the morning for another day in my life. Good night. Friday I am just getting ready for the day I'm not doing anything crazy I don't even know if you can see it but I'm just wearing a little workout set this is not set active even though it looks like it this is actually from Amazon I think it's like 30 or 40 dollars definitely worth it in my opinion I'll put it in the description but it's gonna be a crazy day because I have um, my nine to five I actually have an unbelievable amount of work to do today that I know I'm not going to be able to get everything done so I'm just gonna to have to like sit down and level set with myself so that I don't get disappointed whenever I can't do anything everything that I need to do and then I have to film some videos today I'm actually filming my first brand deal today which is really exciting it's for TikTok um, it's a hair tool like a volumizing tool which is why I'm not fixing my hair today like I'm just doing a little clippy situation because I'm gonna have to, have to fix it later and I'm going to do a couple outfit of the day videos, take some photos for Instagram, and then we're actually going to go visit my family this weekend. We're leaving this afternoon, like after I get done with work. They live in Virginia, but yesterday was my mom's birthday, so we're going to go celebrate this weekend. And so that's really exciting. We, It's just like always so nice to go visit my family because even though it's not my hometown, I've never lived where they live. And they've only lived there for like a year. Um... It just like always feels so homey and like something about just being in like with your family. I know not everyone feels like this, but I feel like that whenever I'm with my family. Like I just feel like so safe and cozy and just like relaxed. And so I'm very excited. I think tomorrow I'm just going to like take a full day of disconnecting from like social media and vlogging and working and emails and just like spend time with my family. <sighs> so that's going to be really much needed but i'm very excited to do it it's gonna be quite the day but i'm excited to get it done and get it over with and just like be super hyper productive i just started packing and i did a couple tiktoks in this shirt this is the one that i got in yesterday that i had mentioned i was so excited about it's so fun like literally this is a tie and this is a tie and you can just do it like a million different ways. Um, but I'm just starting to pack. We were supposed to leave a lot earlier and now it's six o'clock and I have not even packed yet. So <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but um, I wasn't. So now I'm gonna quickly 
throw everything in a suitcase and hit the road. Okay, I've got all of my clothes packed or at least laid out. I swear packing to go to my parents' house is like the hardest thing to pack for because we never know what we're gonna be doing. It's like we're either sitting around doing nothing, laying by the pool, or it's like a whole ordeal and we're thrifting and shopping and doing whatever. And I just never know what's gonna happen until the day of. So I feel like I have to pack for every occasion, but also no occasions. All right, I think I'm gonna end off this vlog here. We are packed and we're about to hit the road and go drive to visit my parents. Kona. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do have to drive because everyone else said no. So I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna go to Starbucks, get a big coffee, get a bunch of sour gummy worms from the gas station and just like push through somehow and then sleep in tomorrow. So Anyway, I will catch up with you guys next week in my next vlog, but thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you let me know in the comments what kind of videos that you want to see, like sit down videos, Amazon favorites, day in my life, weekend in my life. Yeah. Thanks guys. Kona, are you ready to go see grandma? What about you, Rufus? Do you want to go see Dee Dee? Do you want to go see Dee Dee? Are you so excited? Why do you look so worried? Do you want to go see Dee Dee? Kona, do you want to go see Dee Dee?